Hello, everybody. Welcome to a new little podcast slash stream that we're going to do called uh, Pillow Fort Talk. This is just me, Avani, and Vale sitting around and truly just chatting about random shit. <laughs> Sometimes with a topic in mind that we probably won't stay on the whole time. You know how it is. Never. So, um, get none your, of us uh, are neurotypical. Get your uh, PJs on and your slippers on and your blanket and get all comfy and uh, join us for our rant sessions. What are you we, said slippers uh... and I know I have slippers down here. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't know where they went. I, I have one. I have my blanket. My oh yeah. I have this blanket. Together, Actually, together we are here <laughs> and prepared. Oh no, Vale's gonna kick out. Oh, I love. Do you see the Tetris blanket? How it's it's, it's been there the whole time. <laughs> no, I know, but the I have screen. this blanket with the pineapples. And this blanket with Kirby. Oh, I like the Kirby one. And this blanket. Yes. That's Pac-Man. That's I have them hanging on my wall. Oh, like hanging on the wall? Like as... Yeah, so I can just pick them up. They have these little... Hooks? Oh, <laughs> it's genius! <laughs> I'm going to use the Kirby one. No. V Vail Pineapple just one. blew my mind. I know! Now I got to do it. I got to figure out how to make that my life. <laughs> I feel like vale has got it together so much better than the rest of us. I know, right? <laughs> Avani and me are just, like, clawing our way through life, and Vale's like, I hang my blankets? <laughs> like, well, you see, I'm uh, very old in a very young person body. Yeah. <laughs> did you see Did you see her Christmas setup? Like, for fuck's sake, I, know, I had a tree, right? and it had haphazard lights on it, and that was it? I eventually decorated, and it's still not all the way put away yet. I still have a bunch of shit upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> but from outside of my house, it looks like I have my shit together, so. <laughs> I started adulting very early in life. Yeah. <laughs> I, I just don't invite people to my house, and they never know how bad it is. <laughs> Ever. Yep. yep. <sighs> so, um, are we going to stick with the things our significant others have done? Since we started that <sighs> prematurely? <laughs> <laughs> um, as long as we put a disclosure that uh, they should never fucking watch this. Well, uh, that's why I was like, didn't want to say too much. I know mine's not going to watch it, but I, I feel bad sometimes. I do complain. Yeah. I mean, yeah, we, I, I think that's, I mean, it's natural, though. Like, living with another person, you're always going to have complaints and frustrations. It's, it's, a yeah. partnership is work. It's, and being with somebody is they're like your roommate and your fuck buddy and your and best, best friend, friend. Yeah. and then you have to like figure out how to do all these adult responsibilities on top of like you're my best friend I just want to hang out and have fun but you my brain says money. these things need to be done or nothing's okay yeah. right <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah so uh, it's okay Avani and I will fill in most of the space on this I, I, I feel like Talk I need to shit, preference. Just not. I don't have a lot of topics because, again, mine got so much better. Vale, yeah, Vale, I have one word: pizza. <laughs> <laughs> He's got better because now he always asks me before he eats something. Nice. <laughs> yeah. See. So he. Always gets better that's that's what happens you come across these things in a partnership where one of you is like what the fuck and then you fix it and then, then i was raging for like I, like an hour about that that was so we did funny. not help we didn't help we were like go get it <laughs> you're like fanning the flames <laughs> like, yeah how dare he hey you uh you can't ever say we're not supportive yeah <laughs> Um, all right, well, Avani, did you want to start with that story about the PlayStation? Oh, oh. the spontaneously purchased mid-COVID $1,000 PlayStation? Yeah. I think that's all anybody <laughs> needs to hear. Um, I'm not... I was mad then. I'm not mad now. Yeah. Um, I was really, really, really pissed. So, like, I knew that he had been randomly going to, like, game stops and stuff and just poking his head in the door and saying, you got a PlayStation. And I'm expecting... 
you know, like, he'll find out somebody has a PlayStation. He'll give me a call. We'll have a conversation. Like, I'm prepared for the co- the retail cost of a PlayStation. I was not right. prepared for the $1,000 bundle. Right. And it was, like, this weird thing where we finally... Like, it was right after you were finally able to eat in restaurants again during COVID. Mm. And so we were like, fuck, let's go eat something fresh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I'm so sick of takeout. I'm overcooking. I can't eat another PB&J or grilled cheese. Right. Like, let's eat something that let's... I didn't make. <laughs> and I don't yeah. have to clean up. So yeah. we go we go get something to eat right around the corner. And there is a GameStop right behind the restaurant. And he's like, okay, pull up. And I'm like, fine, whatever. They're not going to have a PlayStation. What do I care? <laughs> And, this seems like on you. <laughs> and uh, so we go, and he calls me from inside the door store, and he says they have one. I was like, okay, thinking retail price of a standard PlayStation. Okay, this is still where my brain is. It's a thousand dollars. No, <laughs> no, sorry, huh? No, he's like. Yeah. It's a lot to drop in one shot. He yeah. was prepared. This I will give it to this man every single time that he knows he has to sell me on something. His sales pitch is good. <laughs> he has all his facts. He has all his data. He is ready to convince me who has already made my decision. <laughs> and he's like, well, it comes with this and this and this and this and I get this. And they don't have this, so they're subbing it out with that. And I get three games and blah, 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 blah. And when you add it all up, it is, it's not like it's a bundle and you have to pay a thousand dollars for it, but it's not more or less than if you had bought the items separately. Oh, okay. Um, it was really just how they were deterring the piraters. Yeah. So I'm like, babe, there's so much money. Like, I don't know that we should really do that right now. Like, I know, you know, we've both been lucky enough to work for this whole thing, but that's a lot of money right now. Yeah. And he bought it anyway. I like the pause. <laughs> he like, bought it oh, after we talking should... to you? Yeah. I thought it was that he bought it and you just showed up home one day and it was there. Yeah. I didn't so... expect the, we were having a conversation about this. I kind of said no and he did it anyway. Oh, no, I blatantly said no. There was no kind of. Um, he did it anyway. <laughs> Uh, so there's a couple things that make this okay, despite what I have to say about it, and a couple things that make it absolutely hilarious. Um, so we only, we have one shared bank account, and that shared bank account pays bills. Yeah. Everything else is our own money. We can do whatever we want with it. Right. So technically... He was using his own money. It's not like we weren't going to be able to pay bills, all that other stuff. That's good. But it was going on a credit card that we were trying to pay off. Oh. (laughs) But then he's like, well, I already called dad. My birthday's coming up. And dad said he'll give me this much towards it for my birthday. And so he like when he called me, he had a goddamn payment plan already worked out. It would have been nice if he would have told you that before buying it. Right. No, I didn't get the I didn't get the payment plan until he was in the car with the PlayStation. Right. Like, you know, this man said, I'm going to do it anyway. Yeah. He yeah. was like, I, I and, deserve this. And while he stood in the in and, and he does really, he doesn't he doesn't buy much. He doesn't spend money, really. So. While this man stands in line, I guarantee you his brain was going, okay, so I'm going to pay for this and this. Oh, let me call dad real quick. Okay, and now I've got this and this. And I'm going to tell her all of this when I get in the car before she has a chance to say a word. I'm not going to look at her face because I know what it's going to (laughs) say. Did he not look at your face? Oh, God, no. God, no. And he tried not to look happy, too. So, <laughs> it's not that I really want this place, and I just need to give it a home. <laughs> at, least, at least he had the decency to not look happy. Like, he was like, all right, I got to take this seriously. <laughs> no, you got to give it to him. Like, he's prepared. Yeah. So, how they happened to have this PlayStation was that another man had bought the PlayStation, and he mm-hmm. took it home, and his wife was angry. <laughs> and made him Which return it. Which happened a lot during that time. <laughs> and made him return it. 
So this man oh. had just returned a PlayStation his wife said he couldn't have. <laughs> For my husband to go buy the PlayStation my his wife said no to and still do it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Again, to be fair, his money, his credit card payment, like, it's not that he didn't deserve it. It's that I freak out over money. Right. So dropping a grand all at once with no, like, if you charge it to this card, you get 12 months free interest kind of deal. Right. Really blew my fucking mind. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I would have responded the same way. And then I would have promptly yelled at him for <laughs> not telling me the payment plan like you could have stayed on the phone while waiting in line like you could have told me that i have a plan just you'll hear the still plan. be fighting to this day yeah i'd wake up in the middle of the night and think about it <laughs> I, like i am a forgiving person but i would be so mad i'd just wake up in the middle of the night sweating that time he bought the playstation <laughs> i i I don't know if I could get because that's a lot, and it's yeah. like we are like we don't have a lot of money. Yeah. yeah. So to drop yeah. a grand just like that, I would lose my ever loving shit. Yeah. The other thing is like, um, here he doesn't buy like anything. He doesn't buy nothing. I buy everything, but we right. share all of our money. Yeah. But it's like. He'll be like, oh, I kind of want this. I'll be like, okay, I'll go out and get it for you, even though it's our shared money. <laughs> but yeah. it's always like, he'll ask. And I'll be like, okay, I'll find it. And he right. asks, and I'll find it. Yeah. yeah. So if like he would have just done that, I'd be like, you got to sleep in a different house for a while. <laughs> <laughs> I need you to find somewhere else. I, I need you to go to the neighbor's house and sleep with their dog, because you can't be here. <laughs> Yeah, no, I was, like I said, in the moment I was pretty mad because my brain is going, what if one of us suddenly doesn't have a job? Right. What if, like, like all of this shit was playing in my head because we're still in COVID. We are still full shit shut down. Hours are different. You're, you could lose business any minute. And thankfully I was in contracting, which boomed during COVID. Yeah. So like I was, I was good, but even I our company got down to a point where we could either lay off employees or the managers could each take one pay one day with no pay. So all the managers mm-hmm. said, we'll take the one day, no pay. We don't want to lay anybody off. Yeah, that's good. Um, Man, that does not happen often. Yeah. We're, I'm really lucky to work where I work. Um, <laughs> I, that sounds like good managers. That does not happen a lot. Thank you. Yeah. I was part of that decision. Uh, yeah, we didn't, we didn't, <laughs> We didn't want to lay anybody off. Um, so that's what we did. And then, like, three weeks later, we were all back full time. We were insanely busy. Um, and because of all the small business support, we even got back pay for the days that we gave up our pay. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Nice. Yeah. The owner of our company is a really good human being. Um <laughs> yeah. He really is. He did not have to do that. Um, yeah. so yeah, but I was still in this phase of like the bottom could fall out at any time. Right. And so just a thousand dollars seemed so nuts until I wanted a Samsung Galaxy S8 tablet. <laughs> and he said no, and I said you bought a PlayStation. <laughs> Oh my god, that is the best argument in the world. A plus. <laughs> Holy shit. I and I said that too. I said, oh, also, if I get an Amazon card, it's uh, 12 months no interest and it's only 50, 60 bucks a month. <laughs> so I have that. Uh, and that's what I'm gonna do. And he's like, wow. I already have an Amazon card, I still get the percent off, so um I'll just buy it with my card and we won't open another card and I said okay that's fine keep your your phone payment every month and make the payments for me yeah done issue solved so I'm no longer mad about the PlayStation yeah I kind of evened out there but now it since uh since the spud blew up and I had to buy my new computer now he's like well you got a tablet and a computer <laughs> And I was like, the spud blew up. Like, that wasn't a choice. <laughs> yeah, we're It's not something I wanted. Yeah. I mean, I did, but... 
Yeah. It's not something that I caused. <laughs> yeah, you were kind of forced to uh, get the Spudnik. <laughs> yeah, we had to improve the Spud to Spudnik or we wouldn't be doing this. Uh... <laughs> so that's how my marriage works. <laughs> I don't really have that issue with Jack. He doesn't um he doesn't buy big things spontaneously. What he ends up doing is buying small things often. <laughs> like spe- like he'll spend money on like phone games or stuff like that and he doesn't realize how much it's adding up. <laughs> and I'm like, "Okay, you spent this much money 20 times <laughs> on these 20 different games." <laughs> Like, we need to slow down. <laughs> Pull out the calculator but, that's on your phone and do the math. Okay. Yeah. I'd be like, like, okay, so you paid that much. How many times? Now, I know you're not good at math, <laughs> but uh, here's a calculator. <laughs> Let's plug in these numbers real quick. Right. And we're, we're also in a very, I mean, before COVID, I was pretty stable financially. Once COVID hit, all of my savings went away. Because what happened was my last job, they ended up cutting our pay a little bit for the for a year. And as they cut our pay, expenses for things went up, bills went up. So not only was I no longer making enough to pay the bills regularly, but I was now making under what... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So all my all my savings got drained to bills and that's ultimately like that was the kick in the ass that made me leave my last job and join the job I'm at now where I'm still struggling because expenses continued to climb. So, you know, it's it's always been a tight monetary situation while Jack and I have been together. But um yeah, with the so he does the small payments a lot but <laughs> he's had a lot of oopsie type stuff that has ended up being large payments like oopsie i looked at my phone and got a ticket or oopsie you know i accidentally did this and now it's gonna cost 700 dollars. <laughs> oh yeah that's those, not an oopsie it, the only oopsie that I had recently was oopsie. I need a root canal, and my fucking dentist doesn't. Or my dental plan doesn't cover it. That's the only oopsie that I've had recently. <laughs> By oopsie, I mean dumb <laughs> shit that happened because you weren't paying attention. Type stuff. I I need to know how a seven hundred dollar oopsie happened. Okay, so I threw out. Yeah, because apparently it's not a ticket because you said ticket when he looked at his yeah. phone. I threw out 700. It was actually like 900. And it was, we both kind of agreed to it, even though we didn't actually. Okay, so the situation was we were on our way to one of his shows for his band. And um, this woman had parked her car. It was, it, they were very narrow roads, very small, tiny roads. And he's driving a very large truck <laughs> full of the gear. And oh, I can person, see where this is going. <laughs> this person parked in a parking spot on the side of the road, but they weren't all the way in their parking spot. And they were near the corner of the road. So he went to turn and hit their car <laughs> in the turn. His truck, I think it like barely had a scratch on it. Theirs kind of got a little fucked up. So, <laughs> so we decided together whoopsies that we would pay for their body damage to avoid because we were both at fault he didn't pay enough attention while he was turning she was parked too far from the curb so we decided that we would pay for their for their body work um because really ultimately it could have been avoided on jack's part there was no oncoming traffic he could have swung out a little bit um but yeah, we ended up paying for their for their body work because they had the damage. Um, but it's it, it's very much things like that, you know, like the I was caught on my phone while driving, you know, or he gets pulled over a lot. But <laughs> never been pulled over a single time. I've been pulled over once. For I've raced a cop though. 
<laughs> what? Oh yeah, you told me that. <laughs> yeah, I've never had a ticket, but I have raced a cop. Yeah, I mm. got a, um, I was pulled over once for speeding when I was in college, and it was generally, genuinely, I had just gotten on the highway, wasn't paying attention. It was like the first minute of me on this highway, and I just literally forgot to take my foot off the gas. I was just in the left lane cruising and didn't pay attention and he caught me and he gave me he gave me a seatbelt ticket and I've never been pulled over since. Um but <laughs> Jack is Jack Jack loses focus while driving. That's not good. Just, yeah, well, he doesn't lose focus as in like He's I'm going to tell a story everywhere. real quick because you said lose focus and this literally happened last <laughs> week and I don't know how on earth I did this. Oh, okay. I'm driving and just on a normal busy ass street. I look over, I grab a piece of paper and I start reading it. And then I forget I'm driving and I'm like, I was like, how did I not crash into anyone right now? <laughs> wow. <laughs> like I, when lovely. I got home, I told my husband, I was like, I've never done that in my entire life. I, it was like a referral because I need to see a surgeon. So I picked it up and I was reading all the comments that they had and I was reading and I was reading and I was like, aren't I still driving? <laughs> Grab steering oh, yes. wheel. <laughs> oh yes, I am. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> I'm driving. Yeah. Holy crap. <laughs> and I think that's what happens to him. And that's when he like picks up his phone. He's like checking for something. And then he's like, oh, let me respond to this message. And then he passes a cop and they're like, well, you are on your phone. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> so I check he's... for cops before I touch my phone. I know, right? Like, I, so, I like, genuinely... <laughs> and this is the dumbest shit ever, because my car, when I get a text message, I can I can tell it to read the message to me. Oh, you got a fancy car. Or do that shit. And I hate it. <laughs> never, I never do that shit. I hate, I hate it. when it tells me that. I don't... I hate the noise it makes when a message comes in. I hate that the voice it Same. uses to read it. You so, can't turn that off? I who knows the funny thing is yes <laughs> I've never turned it off but yes well because okay having the notification is sometimes nice if you're like headed somewhere and you need to know like you're waiting on a text from somebody that's mm -hmm. like I'm here or I'm on my way or I need this from the grocery store when you text do you There's want anything from the grocery store specific moments that you yeah. need this shit and for whatever reason. <laughs> but if you turn it off once, you'll forget to turn it on ever again. I totally... And my phone stays on vibrate. I don't use my ring... I have a great ringtone. Never use it. Me too. <laughs> I also have a really great ringtone. Mine is the, um, the, my text tone, my notification tone is the rupee paplink noise from Link, from Zelda. <laughs> and then my actual ringtone is, um, the song from Super Mario Odyssey. I love all of that. <laughs> one Up Girl, that's what it's I, called. Huh. See, I'm one of those people who, like, for... For my inner circle of people, I assign separate ringtones or separate text tones. <laughs> so you can mentally prioritize if it's an important message. Yeah. Totally. Oh, that's that's Jack. I can ignore him for three hours. Oh, that's yeah. the bestie. I'll need to read that immediately. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. You know how it works. <laughs> but, like, the problem is I am... Like, I have the stable job, the nine to five, he doesn't. Yeah. So he he's a he's a mason. So it's as work comes in, he works for a private privately owned company. So it's like as work comes in, whatever work they take based on the weather. So there there will be times that he goes without work and maybe it's not long enough for unemployment or maybe the unemployment as it has been, it is backed up. Like, we're still missing a payment. Last year, we missed a payment that came in... Uh, it came in last year from the year before. So, like, the money situation from his side 
is not stable, whereas mine is. <laughs> so I end up footing most of the bills <laughs> that come in from his oopsie moments. <laughs> so that's that's our money situation. And he recognizes it. He totally does. Um, especially at this point with the with the uh, number of times <laughs> I have assisted. Um he he recognizes it and he he genuinely feels awful about it um but at first it did put a lot of a, stra- a a lot of a strain on the relationship because when you're or at least when I, when we first got together you know i i had this you know fairy tale because like jack and i our relationship was totally different from anything else i had experienced at the start um which is great. We have a great, very healthy connection, very healthy relationship. We talk through our our issues together like adults and come to resolutions and are, are working on struggles with each other. It's great. I love it. But when he first moved in, I was like, great, I'll have, you know, consistent help with the bills, consistent help with this, you know, and it hasn't worked out that way. So I had to learn to figure i had to figure out how to make it work for us um because it's just it wasn't consistent so which is part of the reason why we're doing this stuff i mean (laughs) we're hoping to get a little bit side hustle a side hustle side hustle like (laughs) the side hustle to the side hustle to the side 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 hustle yeah 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 yeah. (laughs) but you know it it was very it was a it was a very big challenge for us to overcome you know his own guilt of having to kind of be taken care of a little bit in that aspect you know be supported uh where he couldn't support me and my you know overall understanding of the situation and like just learning how to be organized with it you know it's better now he uh, has made less oopsies. <laughs> we we did. We had a rule for a little while where I was like, you need to put your phone in your center console when you're driving because if you're gonna keep picking it up and looking at it, we can't, you know, we can't afford those types of charges. And he did it. He's been a lot better at it. And now, now he's less angry at me when I uh, criticize his driving when I'm in the car with him because. <laughs> Because he does kind of drift a little bit, and he does look away from the road sometimes because he, uh, ADHD is into... Got it. Never get in the car with Jack driving. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, actually, that too. <laughs> crazy enough, I will, I, I always make this joke with him where I'm like, you can't drive forward, but he is the best at backing into things. <laughs> he can drive in reverse amazingly <laughs> drive in reverse like a son of a bitch <laughs> I'm like you should just drive in reverse you'll be so much better <laughs> no he's great um but and you know he's he's doing his work he's doing his research looking up things that he can do to make more money like uh or different jobs that he can do but you know it's it's it took a lot it took a lot to get to the point where we're at you know so that was my money story. <laughs> my money story literally is what I mentioned. Like, we share everything. Like, we don't have separate anything. Yeah. Anything I make goes into the same account, everything he makes. But he, so I grew up and my parents, my dad always taught me how to like balance the books and how to pay for bills and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. He never had, he never had any of that. He was just like, not raised the same way so i'm so much better with money and i always find like sales and this and that so he's just like all the money i don't even know what we have it's all yours so, <laughs> you like, take care of it <laughs> it's like so all this needs if this needs to be bought i'll buy it if this needs to be bought i'll buy it so like at first it was kind of like i had a problem because there were certain things like uh like groceries I'm like you know we're hungry we need food right <laughs> But it was because I built this fucking thing where if I get everything and I buy everything and I do everything that I just kind of like didn't, he didn't know how to work with that. Right. Yeah. I mean, I mostly, I'm like, I mostly manage the bills. Same. 
Yeah. I mean, he I has... I think he knows how to get in our bank account. <laughs> Like That's if I die, enough. he has no money. Oh no. no! I left all the I left all the codes everywhere for him. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I I think I made that joke the other day. I was like, if I die, like where where are you gonna get the money? How are you gonna pay these bills? You don't know how much we pay for bills. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Jack hears that all the time from me. I'm like, oh, I gotta pay another blah 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 this month. Like, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> yeah. I I think I asked like, what happens if I die? What happens if I get sick? And he, his answer, like, was that if I got sick and I went unconscious, he'd pick up my phone, he'd text my best friend on Snapchat, because we have a streak of over 1,020 days, and we can't lose that shit. That's what he remembered. <laughs> it's the important thing. He's really got it's your the back. Things, and that touched me. I was like, yeah. that is what's important right now. That, is... that right there is what's important. I actually yeah. love that that's his first thought. No, I'm going to make sure you don't lose your snap streak. Like, like... I'm invested in that snap streak, and he knows. <laughs> He's like, you even if you're unconscious knows. for three years, babe, I got you. Yeah. Like, I got you. I know I got to take this snap, and I got to send it to, to your best friend. I have to. At least one a day. And I was like, yes, that's... Thank you. Thank you. That's the most romantic thing you have ever <laughs> said to me. <laughs> oh, that's a sweet thought, though. <laughs> I love... I'm sorry. I love the little shit. Like, the yeah. little shit they do, that is the best shit. Because I'm not... Yeah, okay, it's nice to go have dinner. Whatever. But the little shit, like him getting in the car and throwing this at my face. <laughs> oh my God, that's adorable. That. I was like, oh, you do love me. <laughs> and that was like, that was it. Like, that's... He'll never go anywhere. I'll keep him forever. He has this whole fucking net of stuffed animals that I have made that he has stolen from me. Oh, <laughs> Like, it's huge. I buy it. Like, it's so weird. I... Was it... I think the first... Our first anniversary, I think, of dating... I was at the grocery store. Not even... We were engaged by then. So... Um, I went to the, gro- we were li- engaged and living together by then. And I went to the grocery store and I knew that after he got off work, we were going to go have dinner. Um, but when I was at the store, I saw this is when Squishmallows were new. Oh. And- <laughs> Please hold. <laughs> and they had this little, little tiny one like this, and it was a dinosaur and it had a little heart on it. Aww. And I did not know what a squishmallow was. I just thought that it was out for like Valentine's Day. It was just like a cute little stuffy for Valentine's Day. Yeah. And they had the little one and a medium one and a gargantuan one. Oh. So I buy the little one and I uh. stuff it in my bag when we get, when I leave. And when he gets in the car, I pull it out and I chuck at him and say, have a Lovasaurus Rex. <laughs> and he becomes obsessed with this thing. Yeah. Like, he loves it. And so he goes with me to the grocery store that weekend, and he sees them, mm-hmm. and he sees the different sizes, and he needs one of each size. So I have a little one, and a medium <laughs> one, and a gargantuan one. But then he sees in the bin that there's only one little one left, and he doesn't want it to be an orphan. <laughs> So we have I have so much respect for him right now. We have two little ones and a medium one and a gargantuan one. <laughs> and so this is this is mid, towards the end of February. February 19th was when we started dating. Yeah. So towards the I'm sorry, January 19th. I feel really uh, bad cuz I have no idea. Me personally have no idea when I started dating. No. Nope. Can't can't tell you. I only I only know this because he has drilled it into my brain. Jack and I made it official on Thanksgiving. Oh, there you go. (laughs) Yeah, I can tell you when I got married. (laughs) Twice. Well, hey, you know what? We had two weddings. That's the important part. Yeah, so did my best friend. Yeah. (laughs) And uh, then this whole escapade ensued with the dinos. Oh. <laughs> and so we started setting them up in different scenes for each other. Oh. <laughs> so like I came home and as soon as you open my front doors, the stairs, 
And they're just staggered on the stairs like they're coming down. (laughs) So his birthday comes around in March. And I'm like, I'm going to do three days of dino birthday fun. So the first one, I set them all up in the living room with like his headset and his uh, controller and all this other stuff. And I made them look like they were playing video games in the living room. That's amazing. That's so cute. And then the next one, I set them all up at the table with cereal bowls and cereal. And his birthday gift with a little dino was buried in the birthday gift with his butt sticking out like he was trying to dig in. (laughs) And the final one, I just set all three of them up with like a happy birth, like a homemade paper happy birthday banner. But this is what we do for like... In easy six months, we move the dinos around the house. Dino totem poles, dinos in cubes, dinos in boxes, find the dino, dinos in jar. Like, it was ridiculous. Yeah. And so now we have all of those guys. (laughs) Oh, my God. There are many Squishmallows. Yep. So nice. (laughs) So... That's like the cute, adorable, dumb shit that I love. I, I need you to be ridiculous and make me laugh because if you're just cute and feelingsy, I'm not interested. Yeah. Yeah. Jack is definitely good at making me laugh. I do have to say he. I just had a moment where I was like, oh, I love him. <laughs> <laughs> Mid sentence. Oh, I love him. I can't even start my story. I realize I really love him. <laughs> I don't really have a story. I just, um, I just love him. No, he's great. I mean, we don't, he, unfortunately, I'm also the one who has the brain that will organize stuff. So I organize a lot of like our outings or like the cute stuff that we do. Um, but it's those little shining moments where it's like, oh, you do love me. Like those things really are what make it worth it. Like (laughs) any of the struggles. Any of the struggles you go through together, any of the bad times, you know, like, it's just like, you have those moments and you're like, yep, you know what, this is it. Like, this is what it's about. (laughs) It's that, like, it's that random, because we don't really talk during the day unless it is important life business shit. We don't really talk if I'm at work and he's at work. Right. Um, Or if one of us finds a really good meme. (laughs) Yeah. Or needs to in- inform the other on cat things. But <laughs> <laughs> we don't really talk during the day. But then, like, he comes home and he chucks Starburst at me, pinks only. <laughs> and I'm like, you thought about me when you were getting yourself a snack. Yeah. That's really nice. Really nice. I, <laughs> I, every, we, we have been going to um, Wawa for breakfast a lot recently. Um, on the weekends, and I always make myself one of the, they have the like little coffee machine where you press a button and it comes out. I always get myself hot chocolate mixed with their mocha wake-up coffee, mm-hmm. because the mocha wake-up is not chocolatey enough for me. So <laughs> he learned It doesn't the... have enough diabetes in it. Let's yeah, add exactly. more. Yeah, exactly. Um, he learned the exact proportions that I put in, and every time we go to Wawa, he's like, okay, do you want your coffee? And I was like, hell yeah, and he makes it perfect every time. (laughs) Every single time, and I'm like, oh, it's so good. (laughs) I didn't drink it hot today because I fell asleep, but I still have it. It's right here. (laughs) Not sponsored. (laughs) Not sponsored. Yet. If only. Yet. I I would get some sponsorships. Yeah. We'll take sponsorships. We don't mind selling our souls. Yeah, no, absolutely. I'm a sellout. I'll go for it. Yeah, yeah. I need, I need money. I'm poor. <laughs> the we're all quite the poor. The right yeah. dollar amount will make us say yes. <laughs> and that's we're not a poor. very high one right now. <laughs> no, no. We do OnlyFans if our husbands didn't have a problem. My husband doesn't. I mean, he wouldn't have a problem but I just would be so opposed. <laughs> I couldn't do it yeah. for myself. Like, it's not even like, cause yeah, probably he'd be like, no, he wouldn't like it, but 
I couldn't do it by myself anyway. I just not uh, me. feet. Yeah, I could do feet. Yeah, I could do feet. No problem. <laughs> uh, it's an excuse to get a pedicure, which I never do because I feel like they're a waste of money. Uh, I never got a pedicure in my life. I <laughs> me neither. I understand, and I don't hate on people who regularly get their feet and their and their nails done. I I have no hate. I just to me for me waste of fucking money and time. Yeah. Yeah, that, like that's a rich my, person activity. I don't... <laughs> my friends do that. Like I have two friends that they always every few weeks they get their nails done, their fingernails and their toenails. And then they'll be like, "Oh, this it was this much." And I'm like, "How can you waste that every single week?" Yeah, right. I, that's so much. But there are people that adds up. That that's yeah. their that's their self care thing. And, yeah. and that's what makes them feel good and makes them feel special and gives them self-gratification. And if you budget for that, like, that's that's your business. That's what you do. I don't care. Right. Like, I don't have any hate for it. I, I just personally cannot fucking fathom it. Like, I only, cut I, my, I only cut my hair twice a year and it cost me 30 bucks. I would love to Same. get my nails done. I love nails. I, I used to actually, when I was um, in college, I used to do little nail art on my own nails, like Christmassy things. That's what I would do. Like, yeah, I used to do I my do own nail art on my own nails because, was, you know, that saves so money. Fun. Yeah, it was so fun. And I, you know and what? It's so like, creative. I, I suck at doing my own nails, but they actually came out pretty okay. Like, you know, like, so I had fun doing it. It's just, uh, I don't, I personally right now, I don't have the time and energy and I would love to get them done, but I don't have the money or the time. So that's like two, yeah. little, like two X's on both of those situations. Well, and the other side of it is like, if you do acrylics, so, you're yeah. first off getting them off hurts. Yeah. Um, once you start doing them, if you keep up with them, then your actual nails are garbage. Yeah. And you have to wait for them to like regrow and everything. And I, this sounds weird, but like I come from a family of people with very nice nails. (laughs) Our nails naturally are pretty and strong and durable. And I look like I have a French manicure and I don't have to do anything to them. So why would I ruin them? So the feet pics are realistic for you, is what you're saying. Oh, uh, well, I mean, feet like... Pics so realistic for her. <laughs> my husband has prettier feet than I do. That's crazy. Because my yeah, skin crazy. dries out. Oh, yeah. You got to get those... Um, <laughs> you got to get those foot masks that peel off the dry skin. I, I have done it. It is literally for me to, to make my feet look as nice as his feet do. I have to wear socks and do lotion and soak them and put on aquaphor every single day yeah if i wanted and i am too lazy y'all yeah too lazy my feet is- look pretty until you realize that i'm missing a nail on one of my toes and you're like Wait, <laughs> what <laughs> hold up oh they just photoshop that in you'll be fine <laughs> i'm just gonna photoshop that nail on there or it's all about angle. Take my, my pinky yeah. nail i'm just gonna oh. put it on my yeah, you can do the different angles. Yeah, yeah. you don't need to do the nails. Yeah, I have hey, one. Like my feet are perfectly fine. I hate feet though. I hate feet. Me too. And it's funny because I don't like my feet, but they're not like ugly. But the other thing is, my husband has like the ugliest feet. <laughs> so like our kids are gonna like have monster feet. <laughs> The other thing is we're both very tall and we both have really big feet. And I always say that our kids are going to have fucking flippers when they come out. See, I... <laughs> At least they'll be fine they're in gonna the ocean. They're going to be swimming. <laughs> Just... Jack and I have the exact same foot size, which mine is large for a female, I guess. Uh, <laughs> mine, are, mine are large, I guess. But uh, his... I have flippers. Okay. <laughs> I wear a nine and a half ten. Yeah, that's... Yeah, that's... Uh, that's no, not I that wear... big. No. Eleven. I, I wear a 10 men's, I think, which is like two sizes bigger than women's, I think, right? But it doesn't matter how pretty someone's feet are or how recently they wash them. I cannot deal. I hate feet I, this, so much. This Don't suddenly me makes me Just... way more self-satisfied about all the feet pics I sent you guys the one day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I was not happy. I was like the... Just in my head, I'm like, that makes it ten times funnier. Because I know that I was grossing you guys out at the same time. To clarify for people who don't know, (laughs) they were not feet pics of Avani's feet. They were more foot-centered memes. (laughs) That's That's why I said I hated every second of it. That's why I was like, I can't with this right now, Avani. (laughs) 
<laughs> but it was funny. Oh my gosh. You're yeah, sending no, feet I was... and I was like, I don't care how pretty they are. I fucking feet, man. Yeah. It was like, it was a full on just like, no, but we could do for porn. <laughs> and you know what? Jack gets me with that all the time. We'll be sitting there and he'll put his feet on me and I'm like, I hate. <laughs> <clears throat> I am perpetually freezing. Uh, this I'm... man puts his feet on me, I might suffocate. <laughs> <laughs> I I'm jealous of my husband's feet. Okay, I wish my feet were that pretty. I wish they looked that nice. Like I know I know we vent about them, but he's got pretty feet and a nice ass. Jack has a great ass. <laughs> feet to ass. I uh the, I don't see the connection. I hope not to see a connection. I only shove my foot up his ass when he misbehaves. <laughs> How far up it? It's important. Uh, it really depends on the amount of swing and how much my knee can handle that day. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. Well, maybe, you know, with your surgery, it'll help you get a little bit farther. To- yeah. Yeah. <laughs> ankle, ankle deep, bitches. Ankle deep. <laughs> ankle deep. <laughs> Yeah, no, uh, one of my favorite things about Jack is his uh, bubble butt. It's pretty great. (laughs) Maybe we just sell pictures of their butts online. Oh my god, he's gonna hate (laughs) me for telling this story, but also he'll get over it. One time (laughs) one time he came into the room and he was like, honey, I had I had an issue. And I'm like, uh, what? He turns around and his underwear is full ripped down the middle. <laughs> whole ass hanging out. I was like, babe, what the fuck did you do? He was like, I don't know. <laughs> oh, so fucking funny. All right. Should we end it there? <laughs> on Rip's on, underwear? So his ass was just hanging in the breeze. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, but did you go, do you want me to fix those? Or? Uh, your girl never learned how to sew, so. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, this man has, like, ten times more clothes than me. He's fine. You know what? Somehow I 100% believe that. This man has lost that. 50% of all the clothes I've bought him. <laughs> I don't know where they're going. How does he Someone out them? there is looking real fly, though. <laughs> kind of like for for like Christmas, I always buy him a shit ton of clothes, and then like later throughout the year, I'll open the closet and be like, "Where are your clothes? Like, we're gonna go out and do something nice. Where are your clothes? <laughs> Where I know I bought you stuff." <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I don't understand how he's uh, lost clothes. That's interesting. <laughs> This man is, like, so easy and so difficult to get close for because he wears the exact same pair of khaki shorts. He's got, like, six pairs of them. The exact same denim jeans, the exact same khaki pants, and there is a specific brand of t-shirt that he likes, and that's what we buy in different colors, and that's it. We're done. Goodbye. Has no other interest. See, that's... So, while that's he has lost most of his clothes, never his jeans. He has, like, 20 pairs of jeans, and I don't know where they're coming from. They're just, like, multiplying. <laughs> They're just having gene babies, and there's you know, more and more. You know what he's doing is he's trading the clothes you're buying him <laughs> for the jeans. <laughs> like, why do you have so many jeans? I could make a castle. <laughs> no, I literally live my life every week in fucking leggings, a fucking tank top, and a jacket of some sort. That's every every week, all seasons. That's what I have. <laughs> So, have, but, what was it 24 different hoodies <laughs> that's what i have i used to have like closets and closet full of clothes that uh, i didn't wear because yeah. my mom is obsessed with buying me clothes the other <laughs> thing about my mom is she has success with buying me very girly very uh, pink very mm, up really clothes things yeah. i will never wear right. and I, when we moved in i just packed like four of those big black trash bags or just took it to charity. I was like, I can't wear this anymore. <laughs> or I can't have it because I've never worn it. Yeah. So like, we went to a wedding in October and my mom's like, what about that one dress? And I was like, oh, I don't know where it went. 
Oh, whoops, I wore a hole into it. <laughs> like, oh, God, I, I, man, maybe we, we lost it in the move? <laughs> You know, I just wear it so much that it's just not suitable anymore. You can't do that because then you get more. The the crazy thing is that how did she remember that one specific dress of like the 50 dresses she bought me? How did she remember that one? (laughs) Maybe she really liked that dress and she wanted it for herself and they didn't have it in her size. So she bought it for you. (laughs) She doesn't. The funny thing is the clothes she buys me isn't even her style. My mom has a specific style. Like, I think this is the style she wishes I wore. Yeah, they do that. (laughs) Yeah, they do. It took a long time, because, like, when I was a teenager, I was like, no, mom, dark colors. Mm -hmm. No, mom, dark color. No, mom, put the pink down. Don't show me pink, mom. Mom, back away from the floral print. Yeah, my mom definitely had an issue when I uh, went into the uh, emo goth style (laughs) in middle school. (laughs) My dad was like, hey, look at you go. My mom was like, my princess. <laughs> Very against it. And every day I would go to school and Lindsay would have clothes in her locker. We'd go to the bathroom and we'd switch clothes. And at the end of the day, I'd switch back into my normal clothes and go home. No way. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. I love That's that. something that really <laughs> fucking happened. <laughs> Yeah, I went through a whole phase with a just straight-up dark clothes, trip pants from Hot Top. Yes! Jeans, the, yeah. the leather wi- wristbands, yep. I went through the whole thing. I still... And the, ra- the raccoon eyes. I remember when I first learned about eyeliner. I still <laughs> have my Happy Bunny wristbands. Holy shit. Wow. I saved them. I don't know why. Like, something was like, you should save these. You should not get rid of it. So I have the red and black striped one, and I have a pink one with Happy Bunny on it. Uh, I used to have a green one. I don't know what happened to it. I probably threw it away at some point because it was... Recently threw away a Happy Bunny shirt that I had in my closet. (laughs) Yeah, it was a a green one with the pink shit. It is? It is? (laughs) Oh, I threw away my old middle school happy bunny shirt. Yeah. And I was like, the crazy thing is I still fit it. And I I was like, did I just like buy big clothes? (laughs) I was not this size when I was in middle school. (laughs) Fucking hate you all of a sudden. (laughs) Um (laughs) Okay. You can't hate on me because I'm sick and I can't eat solid food. I am a skeleton in the making. Yeah, there you go. Okay, Let's fair. I, retra- I retract it. <laughs> look, look at these wrists. <laughs> they they don't have meat on them. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not like this because I want to. <laughs> I miss solid food. I yeah. really miss a good steak, some ribs. I miss... Actually, I can't even eat mashed potatoes anymore. I oh. love me some mashed potatoes. Yeah. Mm. So, me being able to fit that cl- those clothes, not a nice thing. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. But hey, at least you get the nostalgia. <laughs> I threw away because I was like, look at all these stains. Why is this still in my closet? Look at all these stains. <laughs> I've moved to three different homes since this shirt was... No, four different homes since I've had this shirt. How is it still in my possession? Maybe See, that's what stains. One stain from every home. <laughs> that's not viable for me because I moved every year for like five years, six years. Wow. Every year I moved, for when, years. Wow. When I was in high school, I moved to a new house. Then after, before I finished high school, because I left a year early, we moved. Oh, is that what happened to you? Yo, I never knew what happened to you. You just up and disappeared. Straight up. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, so my dad retired from the Air Force. And we didn't have nowhere to go. So we went and lived with my grandma. And then we bought a new house over there. So that was two more houses. And then I got married and I moved here. <laughs> yeah, Avani, I because Vale and I, we we interacted a little bit in high school. I wouldn't say that we were like best friends or like, but like you were in. A we lot weren't of, very close. We were like, we were friends with other friends adjacent. I, so we, yeah. we like, we yeah, would exactly. hang, if we ever hung out, it was because our friends we're friends with your friends so that's how we knew each other and we were cool with each other and stuff but i think we had like like, what did we have like music theory together or something i think we had a class together we have art 
something. No? I don't. I don't Cause, know. Because, like, I feel like I had every single art I ever had with Esther. Oh, yeah. You're friends Esther. with her, right? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> so my it was, God. like, every single one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then just like I, it was my senior year, I guess that you were just not there, and I was like, oh, I wonder what happened to her. She must be taking different classes. Like, <laughs> and I was still on the registry because oh. for the first few months, uh, Laura would send me, oh, I have this class with you. Esther would be like, oh, I have art with you, oh. and someone else would send me a text, I have this class with you, and I was like, great, I don't go to school anymore. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah oh well that explains that well <laughs> i graduated a year early because i had to that high school mystery that was never solved now it's solved so <laughs> yeah the other high school mystery was like huh she's sometimes here and sometimes isn't i was sick in high school <laughs> oh yeah well okay yeah there you go <laughs> she also didn't know that because last time we had a conversation about it oh that was why like, yes, yes. <laughs> Yeah, things things start to line up. Interesting, interesting. We went. We had a. We did a play together. Did we? That's what we did. We did a play together in in middle school. Which play? The the one with Indiana. The only thing I remember is Gary Indiana. Gary Indiana. Gary Indiana was a song. That I am vaguely remembering those words. <laughs> It was you, Laura, then me. And we were like backup character, no name. Oh. And we stood, in, stood in our fucking dresses. It was you, Laura, then me. And Maybe we, we were in a play out. together. It was a <laughs> shitty play. It was a real <laughs> shitty play. Don't worry. Yeah, most of them there kind of were. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Oh, man. Memories. Um, Memories. Huh. Memories. All right, I think uh, that's probably. Oh yeah, we've gone on with this longer than we did with the uh, spirit box. Uh, <laughs> that's probably... Talking shit is so easy. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, we're good at talking. Like I said. Uh, yeah. All right, so we'll end it here. Um, next episode, we'll talk about more things related to our lives. Um, and, we'll make you feel yeah. better about your life. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we will. <laughs> all right, hope to see you all there. Bye. Bye.